Hi guys, welcome back to the Kent Survival Channel. Andy here. Come up onto the uh, Kent North Downs again. Quite local to me, and I am Kent Survival. Uh, it's quite windy out. I've brought with me this um, individual meal Polish ration pack. So I've got a 24-hour Polish ration pack already, and it's it's got the same bag as this one. This one is more in keeping with the size of a, a normal MRE. I believe that I have a cabbage and sausage stew of some sort here. Uh, I haven't done much research on this, so uh, it's going to be quite new to me opening this and having a look at it. So um, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here's the pack. It does have English as well as Polish down the front here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting into this without my knife. No, that's just not going to happen. This is pretty tough plastic coating here. So I'm just going to go into it from the back. Okay, so it's going to be tricky for me to go through this. Uh, so, strawberry jam is the first thing up. I'm using the uh, bag here. Minced chicken and pork, I believe. Well, I need to look at what those are. Some kind of cracker or biscuit or hard tack. They look like the Lithuanian ones. We've got this little foil tray meal. So this is going to be our main, which was cabbage and sausage. A spoon and a napkin. This I'm going to assume is a cereal and fruit bar. There we go. Some more biscuits or crackers. A little accessory packet we'll have to take a closer look at. An instant drink. Uh, I'll take a look at what that is exactly. A straw, that's nice. And this should be our FRH and a sleeve to put it in. So yeah, very similar to a MRA. Let's have a quick look at the accessory pack here. So we have napkins, more napkins, bag for your rubbish, for purifying water, whatever you want to use it for I guess. A wet napkin. The sweet or candy, if you want to call it. This looks to be like a caffeine candy. A mint. And some salt and pepper. So it's pretty nice, I'm quite impressed actually. I didn't know what to expect in this. So let's get going with our main. So after a quick look, it looks pretty standard. Um, don't know if it advises removing this or not. Yeah, I guess I will. That is our F8, quite a big heating pad in it. Just tear the top off. Get our main in there. Quick look for our water line, which is here. a little too much in there, it's quite hard to see what you're doing. I'm going to try and get that in its sleeve quite quickly. Okay, I'm just going to lean this against the rock or something as they say get on with the next thing. So I'm just going to make up our drink here. It's an instant lemon tea I've discovered. Let's get that open. I already tore the top off off camera. Didn't realise I was on rolling. Okay. Oh. 
It looks like gravy mix. But granular. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to have this hot or cold, but uh, it doesn't mention heating, so... We'll use cold water. More of a hot tea man myself. Okay, so it takes quite a lot to mix this. So I'm going to leave it for a bit while I FRH does its work. Oh, it's very lemony. It smells like a, a lemon hand wipe. So I'll leave that doing its thing. This is definitely heating up. It is, it's not an explosive FRH, let's say. But it, it's definitely heated up. So it should give that a while longer. Right, so let's get our jam out. I don't know what jam it was. What did I say? Strawberry. There we go. Yep, definitely smells like strawberry jam to me. Let's just take that lid right off. Open up our crackers. Yeah, there we go. So there is two packs of two. I'm just going to open one pack, I think. Have some with the, um, I guess this chicken pork is like a pate, and some with the strawberry jam. And our fruit cereal bar. Oh, that is strange. I'm assuming this <laughs> paper you take off and it's not like an edible. Thing. That is strange. Well, no, I think that is like an edible paper on there. Certainly not peeling it all off, that's for sure. Yeah, I just tried a bit and it just dissolves in the mouth. Just like the stuff you have as a kid. So stick that there. Open up our chicken and pork, I'm assuming pate. Yeah, it's like a pate. Quite coarse looking. Okay, so I'm going to start on these and then get out the um, the main because I want it hot and pretty hungry. So this seems to have fully dissolved now, this uh, lemon tea. I've done it cold. That's pretty refreshing actually. I'm not into kind of cold teas, but I like that. It's not that strong in the tea front, but uh, it's definitely lemony. Oh yeah, I needed that. That's pretty good. Right, so I guess we'll try the cereal bar with the hopefully edible paper. Mm, that's pretty good. Pretty dried fruit tasting. Pretty dense, but fruity. Mm. I like that. Here, I'll save the rest of that for um, dessert. Okay, so I'm going to need this spoon. It might have been useful to have a um, knife for the uh, chicken and pork pate, I'm going to call it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I don't think that's really going to... Yeah, it's quite firm. It's not going to squish down. More like a lunch meat sort of thing, really. So we just had chicken and pork on our... Well, I think these are like hard tacks. Look like they've got caraway seeds in, actually, if you can see that. So we'll give that a go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the same as the um, Lithuanian ones. They are proper hard tack biscuits. Be very careful if you get one of these or the Lithuanians. They, um, <laughs> you may hurt your teeth. But this, however, is really nice. It's a shame that the, uh, the hard tack Let's it down. Mm, yeah, I do like this. I'm going to finish this off. It's quite sweet, the pork and the chicken together, but if you know what I mean. But it's, it's, it's good. Clean off our spoon. Try out this jam. Quite a firm jam. That's 
So we use the same biscuit here. Yep, it's jam, no frills, no problems. Just watch out for these biscuits. Definitely use, need to use your molars on them. Okay, let's get this main out. I flipped it halfway, heat it from the other side. Ooh, definitely hot. So a slow burner that, it does get hot eventually. Losing our tray. Okay, so there's some definite big bits of sausage there. They seem mainly spread on the top. Looks like it's kind of a tomato-y sauce that the cabbage is in. I imagined it kind of white sauerkraut-y looking. Very oily. It looks pretty good. And it tastes pretty good too. Oh wow. That's full of flavour. Big chunks of sausage. A little bit of spice in there too. Probably some paprika. Mmm, that's lovely. That's quite a surprise. I'm not a cabbage man. I just didn't fancy another kind of stew dish, Eastern European stew dish in a, in a ration, but um, I'm glad I went for this. It's very nice. I suppose you could try your hard tack. And that's heated through perfectly. That FRH did its job in the end. Well, yeah. I suppose I should get on and then come back to that. So, what haven't we tried? So we've got this, um, don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's a coffee sweet. It's almost like licorice. It's not too bad. I'll put it back in there for now. Looks like a, a vitamin sweet, for a vitamin sweet. Excuse me. Probably a vitamin C drink, uh, sweet candy. Yeah, that's like an orange vitamin C candy. I'll come back to that also because I want to get back to eating this. <laughs> and we've got two pieces of gum. And before we wrap it up, Let's have a quick look at our wet napkin. Pretty standard. Lemony, quite thin. And I'll save that too for in a minute. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This is a good MRE sized ration, individual meal. It's the Polish, this is pack number six, which is the cabbage and sausage. Thanks very much for joining me whilst we look through this and taste this. Hope to see you in another video soon. If you've not seen my other videos, have a look at the channel. There's plenty of ration reviews, camping videos, uh, product reviews. Um, just have a look through them. There's probably some on the screen right now. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks very much. Goodbye.